Dave. It's been four and a half years with you, and this relationship is clearly going nowhere. <laughs> I'm done. Mm -mm. Mm, I'm done, Dave. Carol, please. Please don't leave me. Don't leave me, please. Don't leave you. Don't leave you. It took me this long because I believed in you. I believed every word that came out of your mouth. I traded my valid convictions for your Steve. Every breath that came out of your mouth was a profound promise of an amazing future. But through the years, through the years it dawned on me that I am nothing but a glorified girlfriend to you, giving you the benefits of a husband, when in truth I am just, I am just a house help, a cook, a, a laundress, a gist partner and a bedmate. Ah. I was born for more. I was born for more than just a living lover, Dave. Don't you think? Don't you think this has dragged for too long? It is time to put an end to this charade, Dave. Hi. We will leave you. I don't know how to leave without you. Please. Please. Leave me.
sweetness. Yeah. We can't keep doing this. Doing what? Loving each other like our next breath depends on it. <laughs> <laughs> no. We have an unhealthy pattern. Oh no, I don't think so. Babe, come on, we have a very healthy pattern. <laughs> I mean, we fight. We make love. And we make up. <laughs> you know you're incorrigible, right? Sometimes. <laughs> So how did you know? Know what? You replaced the set of flowers. How did you know I threw them in the trash? Oh, I know you. I know you too well, baby. Come on. I know you. Hmm? I know you. <laughs> I love you, right? I love you too, baby. I know this was you. Okay, I know this was you. Oh, cut the bullshit. You sent the flowers, you sent the faking flowers. What is wrong with you? This has your fingerprints all over it. Oh, listen to me. Do not pull this kind of stunt ever again. Do you hear me? What? That's weird. Definitely not a ringtone I've heard in this house before. My phone, my phone! Uh. My phone is with you, my phone! My phone! I have my phone with you! Special ringtone? Dave, like, like seriously? No, it's not what you You did. gave your freaking parasite of an ex a special ringtone. No, 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 what? No, really, no, what? Calm just, down. Just calm down. Calm, calm down. Okay, just, did you say calm down? What? Did you say calm down? What did you say to me? Carol, let me talk for a minute, then you uh, get it. Okay? Look, you don't even know her. I told you about Oh yes, I told you about her from the start. Okay. I and it's even over between us. You don't know who Brenda is. Oh, really? Yes. And it's over between you and you expect me to believe anything that comes out of your mouth, Dave. But she's still calling you. Oh, she's my friend. Oh, really? Your friend? Same old boring tale. Your ex still calling you. How many of my exes are still hanging around me, Dave? Exes are meant to move on and not be a permanent and constant fixture in our lives. I don't, I don't know why you're the way you are, really. <laughs> you have to stop what you're doing, okay? Carol. Hmm. Carol, your yeah. temper is terrible. Okay. Brenda is my friend. You don't need to necessarily have a relationship with her. Dave, uh, don't you get it? Anyone in your life is by extension in mine. 
Can't you see what you're doing here? You're taking away my choice to either have Brenda in my world or not. Dave, you're my world. You're my world. I saw it that way, really. Okay, now I know better. I personally wouldn't want anyone imposed on me by extension, so I understand how you feel. Come on, now let it go. Please. I'll tell her to stop calling, I promise you. It had better be for real this time. Of course it will be for real. As a matter of fact, I'll tell her to stop calling. Because my wife does not like her calling. How about that now? Huh? Mm. Come on now. Mm. I'm sorry I broke the bottle. Oh well, it's okay. It's your temper. Something that we have to work on. But it's alright. I forgive you. <laughs> to drag me out here now. Mm -hmm. huh? I wanted to see you. Why? I miss you. You don't miss <laughs> me? Hmm? You don't miss all of this? Ah, Brenda. Mm -hmm. The things you do to me. Mm. You are driving me crazy. Mm -hmm. So you had to blow up my phone mm -hmm. until I showed up here. Oh, come on. It's a private bitch. As private as it gets, what yeah. do you intend to do? I want to have fun, Dave. I want to have you. I want to have you. Mm. I want to have you. Wake up. Wake up. Get ready for work. <laughs> Come on, please. Mm. Get ready for work. Let me go make you breakfast. <laughs> Come on now. Let's mm. just spoon for one, one more hour, please. Oh, please. Yeah, oh, just, wait. Oh, wait. Just, you need to go to work. Let's spoon a little. You've been doing that since. Are you tired? No, it's not enough. Can't you see I'm enjoying it? It's never enough. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> you always enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Please go get ready. Mm -hmm. 
Can't get ready. <laughs> Come on, babes. You I need to go to work. I can't go to work now. I'm still hard. You can't feel it. Ah. Uh, you can't feel it. I can't feel it. Your right leg can't feel it. No, I'm not feeling it. Are you sure? I'm not feeling it. Ha <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, seriously, you need to go to work. When you come back, we'll continue from where we stopped. Hmm? Good morning, baby. Good morning, my love. Mm. Get ready, get ready. Let me make you good time, okay? <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Ah. Oh, my God. <sighs> wake up. Babes, mm. wake up. Wake. Hmm. Hey, baby. How fast can you get? Are you out of your mind? What is wrong with you? Huh? How fast can you get to mine? I am already touching myself thinking about you. What do you mean you want to see me? You, you're so. I was with you just, just a few days back. I want you so bad. But baby, I can't help it. I miss you. Look, listen to me. I, look, 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 no, 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 no. That's not the plan. That is not the plan. We have an arrangement. You stick to it. You just don't you know, call me up and why? Because you're honey and I just run to you like I'm, like I'm some cheap booty call. No. Oh, role play. Mm. You need to respect my space with my woman. You're eating into her time. I like it. Oh, yes. I said what I said. You're eating <laughs> into my time with, with Carol. I want you to stick to the plan. Yes, stick to the plan. I'll see you when I can see you. Hold on. Hi. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you waiting. Um, how can I help you, Miss? Mr. Gogo, at your service. Oh. Yes. Um, I am discussing great real estate opportunities with residents of the neighborhood. Mm. Yeah, for example, this house could be yours in a year's time if you partner with us. You're kidding me, right? No, I'm not. <laughs> wow. I mean, we've had plans of buying a house. And, and then we love this one. Yeah, then perhaps I could come in and chat with you and your um, husband. Um, uh, <laughs> we're not married yet. Ah. <laughs> so your fiance then? Uh, it's it's nothing like that. But um, what's that your name again? Mr. Gogo. Mr. Gogo. Yes, and I work for Phillips Real Estate Managers. Did you say Phillips Real Estate Managers? Yes, I did. That's a reputable company. Mm. Oh. Come inside, come yeah, in. Thank you. <laughs> um, uh, honey, this is me, Sam. Go, go. <laughs> and I am discussing great real estate opportunities. If only you and your wife can partner with us. Uh, uh, we, are not. we are not interested. Uh, if I could just have a moment of your time, I can assure you. I can assure you well, that we will pass. Um, well, I don't know what to say. Perhaps I came at a bad time. Maybe we could reschedule. <laughs> no, ma'am. We'll pass. Uh, 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 I'll just... Uh, yeah, I'll just leave. Oh, okay. Um, good night. Good night. So good. Thanks for all coming. Sweetness, that was rude. How can you, how 
could you treat another human being with such contempt? It's just 7 p.m. Please, drop it. Funny how you, you can just pour yourself a drink, but I'm not allowed to get close to the, to the mini bar. Ah, listen to me. Whatever that woman is selling, we're not interested. Sweetness, you don't even know her. Besides, I spoke with her for just a few minutes and she seems nice. Plus, it's an opportunity for us to own a house. Carol, I have a headache, please. Can we talk about this later? A headache? Since when? I suddenly feel nauseous. I think I'm coming down with the flu. Really? Oh, sweetness. Oh, thank God your temperature is still normal. Um, okay, let me make you fish pepper soup. Maybe that will warm you up. Hmm? That would be nice. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm coming. Ah. Oh. I have no idea how turned on I am right now. You're turned on? Do I look turned on to you right now? What give you the right to show up at my house? And then you sent flowers. Brother, what are you playing at? Are you out of your mind? Oh. Well, it's okay for you to have a key to my apartment and you can come and go as you please. Oh, and speaking of flowers, what flowers? I told you I don't know anything about any flowers. Oh, stop. Stop it. Quit the pretense. You sent flowers to Carol in my name. You freaking sent flowers to her in my name. What's your game? What are you getting up to? What's your problem? Just what if she found out who you were when you came by the house? What if? <laughs> oh, wow, 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 wow. Wow. Oh, come on, baby. I'm burning for you. Let's take advantage of this passion and have an explosive sexual experience, babe. Come on. 
You know, I'm barely restraining myself from strangling you right now. Oh, but that's why I did it. <laughs> All that anger is transferred into passion under the sheets. Come on. Strangle me. I'm ready. Here. You know what you are? You are a retarded, horny, mm. sneaky bastard. That's what you are. Don't you come by my house ever again, Brenda. Don't do it. Do not do it. You see all of this? Mm. We count for nothing. Because mm. it won't happen. Not today. He was a freaking vibrator. He named Dave. Dangerous. Oh. <laughs> Yet you have one living with you while you let another manipulate you mercilessly. It's just Brenda. Oh. I tell you. Now the things that get her excited. Crazy stuff. Crazy. You know, the world would be a better place if people stop trying to manipulate each other. But then again, Manipulation is written, it's probably written out the human DNA. Well, true, but can we do without women? I doubt it. Hmm. You see, I like to keep things professional. I don't let women get too clingy to me. You know, my peace of mind is paramount to me. So, I feel for you, bro. I really do. Why would you say that? What do you mean you feel for me? Because you're living the woes of a married man while still being a bachelor. Oh, so, Brenda. <laughs> I know it's complicated. Let me take it. Unnecessary, if you ask me. Hello. I need you. Yes. Hi. How now. You? Now. We have an understanding. No, you know that's not possible. I am your shoulder to cry on, and you're my dick in terms of. Because I've got to go back to Carol. Come on. It's been a week without you, my love. A whole week. And I'd be good. I'd be real good. Don't I deserve <sighs> some sugar? Um. Uh, goodbye, Brenda. Yeah. Goodbye. Uh, uh. Well. You, you, you see what I mean? You can have either Brenda or Carol, but you choose to place Carol on the wife pedestal. Why you put Brenda in the mistress position, thereby making you a married man without a wedding ring. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Dave, Dave, Dave. Everything is not okay. Everything is not okay at all. Okay, what is this about? It's unopened. Not taking anyone yet. But it's... It's here. Sitting right here. Mm -hmm. Carol, what would drive you to want to take alcohol again? 
You are a recovering alcoholic. You almost died, Carol. You almost died of alcohol poisoning. What is this doing here? This, Dave, this is the reason for my pain because you made a promise and you did not keep it. What do you have to say for yourself? What do you have to say, huh? Are you a man? Because a man will keep his word. So you're doing this? To yourself because of your manipulative aunt. Carol. <laughs> you know what? Dave, read the message. Read it! She said her blood pressure is going off the roof because you failed to fulfill your promise. You failed to send the money you promised that you were going to send to her. You are my responsibility, Carol. You. But your aunt has got Four children whose primary assignment in life should be taking care of their mother. I, you are my responsibility. I will not have you insult my family. Your Dave. family. <laughs> A bunch of corn artists. That's what they are. Oh, really? Oh, yes. So what am I? No, 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 Dave. How about me? Am I a corn artist too? No, oh, am I a corn artist? Since when did this become about you? <laughs> Ah, it's about me, Dave. It's all about me because if I were your wife and not your living lover, you will respect my family. Married to you or not, Carol, this is who I am. This is what you will get. I will not take on those leeches. Ah, you don't get to do that. You don't get to insult the people I love, treat them like that. You don't get to do that. Uh. <laughs> You know what, this won't work. I came back home to rest, but clearly I cannot have peace in my own house. I see we clearly need some space. I'll let you be. Okay. But not before I Dave, what are you doing? Where are you taking them to? Dave, what are you doing? I'm not drinking it. I've not even opened it. You clearly cannot be trusted. So I am clearing the minibar.
You know, you know, Auntie Florence is all I've got and I'm all she's got. Please. You know that, right? Please. I'm not taking sides with you on this. Please. You're being unreasonable. Think about it. What? You know I don't have a mother. And Aunt Florence might as well be my mom. Yeah, but she's not your mom. She has her own children. And of course, she's taking responsibilities of her children. What is wrong with you? Why are you adding sentiments to the... No, just, just leave it. There's no point arguing with someone who can never get it. You can never understand my situation because you're single and you're lonely. Really? Yes, of course. <laughs> you're too drunk to realize that we're both single. No. Yes. You're even more single than I am. No. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not single. I'm not single, I've got a man. I've got Dave, I've got Dave, Dave is my man. Really? Yes, I have a man. Really? Mm-hmm. You know what? I will leave now. When your brain resets itself, then we can talk better. Nonsense. Just get out! <laughs> Bitch! Get out! Stupid. I've got a man! I've got Dave! Dave is my man! Hmm. Carol, I was actually hoping that you would be asleep at this time. Well, as you can see, I am awake. I can see that. So where the hell are you coming from? I'm not doing that with you tonight. I clear the bar. And I come back to see that you have another drink with you. Where the hell have you been, Dave? If you cannot show me respect and restraint, I owe you nothing. I owe you no explanation. <clears throat> Fine. You know what? Forget about this. <clears throat> Ooh. Ah, sorry. <sighs> I just need to get laid right now. What's wrong with you? Go on. I'm fine. Mm. Sorry. Dave, stop. I cleared that bar, Carol, to see if you would show some restraint. But clearly you have none. Ah. <sighs> Come on, Dave. I'm a freaking adult. I can drink whenever I want to. I mean, I just having a sip. Hmm? See? I'm fine. I'm okay, huh? That's it. Oh, come on. What is wrong with you? You know what you need? Mm. You need to sleep. 
your head is not in the right place. You mm. need to slip it off. I'm going to take one of the guest rooms tonight. Well, Dave. Uh, Carol. Mm, okay. Carol. Mm hmm. I hope you do realize that I stopped smoking because of you. You think it was easy? No. But I did it anyways because I knew it was going to make you happy. But you, you lash on to a bottle of drink at the slightest oh. opportunity you get. Mm. You're not only going to drown yourself mm. in alcohol, you are going to drown what we have in that bottle. I'm not drunk. Good night. Come on, Dave. Well, Dave, if you think you're going to sleep tonight, then you are in for a joke. I know where you're coming from and I know where you're rejecting me. Because you went to see that nonsense slut of yours, Brenda. Stupid. You can go see Brenda, but I can't drink. Nonsense. Ooh, I'm fine. I'm coming to that guest room to disturb you. And I'm okay. Ooh. Hmm. Oh. Oh my God. This feels good. I don't know what his problem is. I just drink. Is there anything wrong with drinking? Nothing. Uh huh. And I'm coming to that guy's room to disturb you. You're my boyfriend. I mean, yes, man. So you do it. Give it to me after you've given it to Brenda. Okay. I don't know why you have chosen to believe the voices in your head. Hmm. I was with Frank. Hmm? Frank. <laughs> Liar. Call him. Uh, call who? Frank, get the phone and call him. <laughs> call Frank. You guys are on the same WhatsApp group. Please. Call <coughs> Two of you are both liars. Just so you know, the only reason I'm not sleeping here with you tonight, mm -hmm. or even touching you, is because you are drunk. And I like my women sober. Me drunk? I'm not drunk. <clears throat> You're not drunk? Mm -hmm. Right, it's fine. I'm drunk. Good night. Good night. Liar. You can lie. <coughs> oh, jeez. Mm -mm. mm. oh. All right, I'm off. Oh, this is so I, I, I. I don't know what happened. What are you talking about now, sweetheart? I mean, after months of sobriety, and I was an uncultured fool last night. Ah, you're still talking about last night. Baby, I forgive you, okay? We're not going to have you take all the blame. No, I uh, have to. No, you won't bear the burden of what happened last night alone. So it's our fault. We'll fix it together. No, it's not okay. It's not okay. I mean, I got drunk and I misbehaved. Mm. I don't even know what happened. I don't know. Only God knows what I might have said or done. I can't remember what I did. I'm so sorry. Whatever it is. And whatever it is that you have done, baby, it's all forgiven. Huh? Thanks, baby. Well, you'll have to stop with the accusations, though. Oh, yeah. You accused me of cheating with Brenda. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this, I'm so sorry. It's I'm okay. So it's okay. Oh. Mm. It's okay. Who is that? Um. Uh, oh, it's um Frank, Frankie, just um bringing me up to speed on our last conversation. 
I remember you said that yesterday night. Yes, I did. Oh my god, I'm so sorry for doubting you. It's okay. It's okay, honey. Uh, it's fine, baby. Come on now, don't be like this. <laughs> what is it? What? What is it? What is it? Mm, what? Baby, to work, you're a good man. Thank you. And I'm so blessed to have a man like you in my life. I'm so sorry I picked a fight over trivial matters yesterday night. Mm. It won't happen again, okay? Thank you, baby. I know it won't happen again. Let me go. So I'm not late for my meeting. Okay. <laughs> All right, honey. I'll call you from work. Mm. Well, you have yourself a beautiful day. I will want you to have a great day, okay? Of course I will. Love you. Love you too. You better start talking. Start talking now. Okay, fine, fine. I know. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. See, I don't even know how you put up with me. Why won't I put up with you? <laughs> with all the gifts you used to send to me. Even for the short time I missed them. <laughs> the turkey, chicken, roasted this, meat pie, sausage roll. I miss them as well. Mm. So I will put up. But come to think of it, today there is nothing. You didn't bring me, come with anything. Ah, well, I have better plans for you. Mm. Mm. What's the plan? You know, I always got you. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm taking you out. Serious? Yeah. That's my girl. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but come to think of it, Tommy, I won't stop saying the truth. Uh, okay. You and Dave, you are behaving childish, and I'm not happy about it. Every now and then, you fight, you set, you fight, you set. What's happening to you guys? It's uh, not okay, good. Okay, fine, 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 Grace. Grace, it's okay. I mean, we've settled this fight. Again? Yes, we settled this this morning. Mm. Mm hmm. I see. Yes, because Dave is such a great guy. Mm. I mean, I don't even know how he's so patient with me. But <laughs> I'm not doubting you. You see, this matter of is a good guy, a great guy. Nobody's arguing that part with you. But what I want is when is Mr. Great Guy, Good Guy popping the question? <sighs> he will propose. Mm. They will. I mean, men don't like to be pushed. Okay. You don't. They do things at their own time and pace. Mm. Mm -hmm. I know he will do the right thing when he's ready. Okay. When he's ready. Right? Mm -hmm. But don't forget, oh, you almost be forty. The time is clocking. It's almost twenty. He's a good guy. Oh, was it? Um, there's this test message I've been waiting for. Mm. I have a lunch meeting with someone. I'll see you later. Let me go get ready. It's a serious question. You are very serious with this. You are not answering me. You are telling me about business. Okay, you're... fine, Grace. Uh -huh. You know what will happen? What? The next time we have a serious fight, I'll move my things and move into your house. That way, you'll be forced to propose. I think that's what I'll do. Girl, I'll see you later. I'm taking you out, don't forget. So get ready, when I call you, you meet me up. Love you. Love you too. Hi, Miss Dagogo. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I kept you. You know the Lagos traffic, it's a beast. I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting. I hope you've not been waiting for long. No, 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 no problem. You know my job, I have to sleep the beast daily. Oh. So I can relate. Mm -hmm. But you're here. 
Yeah. You know, it's a good thing you dropped your card in the file you gave us the other day. Oh, and <laughs> thank you for reaching out to us. Mm. Mm. I'm glad you are interested in our offer. Of course we are. Oh, and please, please, please forgive Dave. I mean, he can be very grumpy sometimes. Please. Dave? Mm-hmm. Oh, Dave, your fiancé. Um... Well, <clears throat> okay, let's get down to business. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. You need to relax, you know. Let's have some drinks and then you can tell me about yourself and um, Dave. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, Dave is such a baby. I know, right? <laughs> Excuse me? I mean, I know the type. Oh. <laughs> okay, Um. so like I was saying, mm. ah, can we just get down to business? I don't want to bore you with my story about me and Dave. No, it's fine. Mm. You know, the company, we like to know our clients personally. So we're on track. Interesting. Okay, um, you know, I can't be calling you Miss Dagogo. I mean, there was no name on the card you gave me the other day. So what do I call you? Call me B. B. B, like... Like an insect. <laughs> yeah, like an insect. Oh my goodness. What Carol, the? Is this you? Rick. When did you get into the country? What are you doing it's, here? It's actually a week ago. Man, you look so good. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. The name is Richard, but they call me Rick for short. Dagogo, real estate developer. Nice. Um, Rick, um, we were in the middle of a meeting before you came in. Come on! So if you... Carol, Carol, your friend can sit with us for a few minutes. Um, um, friend. <laughs> Fiance. Oh. Oh. Ex, ah. ex fiance <laughs> I'll be keeping in touch. <laughs> okay, guys, you all have your delegated duties. So we will be needing your report on your assignments first thing tomorrow morning. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Good. That'll be all for now. You can. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hello. Hey, Frankie. What's up? You look a little pinched around the edges. Can I talk to you, Frank? Not this time as, as a friend, really, and not, not as partners, as friends. Let me talk to you. All right. We've got a few minutes before the next minute, so we're officially off the clock. Okay. Yeah. Um, first off, before I get into it, I just want to apologize for always dragging you into my trouble. <laughs> Please. No, it's fine. I find it entertaining. What? All the drama, this 
two beautiful women praying to just one man. <laughs> two women? What are you talking about? Not Brenda is about... Brenda is sex. Oh yes, it is sex with Brenda. It's just sex. You made it totally clear to me that she's not interested in getting married. So she's... Come on, you know I love Carol. Carol? She's the one that I truly love, you know. Huh. You know. Wow. You seem to have everything figured out. Uh, Everyone seems to be in their perspective boxes, so why are you brooding at work? Uh, oh, Frank. I need to come up with a plan uh. to make Carol stay. I need to stop living in fear that I would wake up one fine morning and she's gone, taking my breath with her. Frankie, Carol is the love of my life. Then marry her. I mean, what are you hesitating for? It's not that simple, man. It is. Get rid of Brenda. Huh? Let her find another sex toy. I mean, Carol is the one you love, uh. right? It's complicated, man. Well, I'm a simple man. You know, I'm not the guy for you. I like a girl, she stays. I don't, she goes. I am never confused. I am never in the middle. Boy. Hmm. Our next meeting is in a few minutes. I would... But hey, man, that man, man, I need you. I hope that you don't give up on me, man. You are one of the finest minds I know. Help me. Help me think. Think of something, something. Help me think of something that will make my woman stay. There is something I want to ask you. You might as well ask me instead of staring holes into my head. Come on, I'm serious. I know you're serious. Okay. It's nothing. Um, what is that one thing that I would ever do to make you angry or push you away from me? There is nothing you do that would ever push me away from you. This woman, come on, what's your problem? Give me my, okay, let me help you. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I need you to concentrate. What's your problem tonight? Of course I'm concentrating. Mm-mm, you're not. Till you answer my question properly. Ah, uh, Carol. Okay, what is it? What's the question? Because really, there is no easy way out of that question. Because I'm doomed either way. That's not true. That's true, I know you. See, there's nothing you say now that will make me flip out. Mm hmm? Mm hmm. Oh, so you know you do flip. I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> with, your, with your temper, you don't. Can you just answer the question? Are you sure you're ready for this? Yes, I am. Come on. Okay, let's do it. And then finally your temper. No, 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 no. I do not have a temper. I don't have a temper. <sighs> okay. It's fine. Then. Whatever you say, it's fine. I mean, everything you listed is what makes me who I am. Or oh, don't you love me for me? 
No, 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 no. Dave, do you want to change me? Mm. Do you? I said if I jump, that this was a terrible idea. We shouldn't do this. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Just that I believe love is one, not trying to change another person. I mean, there's, there's nothing wrong with me trying to help my family once in a while. And then the drinking, I, I, I don't drink all the time, so sometimes. And then the sharp tongue, really, like seriously, Dave. And then you say I don't give you a place as a man because I believe in equal rights for women. <coughs> what is wrong with that? Nothing, actually. Which is why I have said this is a terrible idea. Let's not do it. Let's mm -hmm. not go there. No way. We are doing it, Dave, because we're talking about you right now. Mr. Domineering, possessive, not giving me attention. And then when I make noise to get it, you say I have a temper. And of course you cheat. Uh, all right, hold it right there, woman. I do not cheat. Mm. You have never caught me cheating. Now that's false accusation. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. That I have a platonic friendship with my exes does not speak of the fact that I sleep with all of them. I do not cheat. And if you're referring to Brenda, Carol, please, for the last time, uh. Brenda is my friend. You know what? You know what? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Fine. Your friend. Well, you can sleep on the couch. I will sleep in the room so your bad girlfriend does not contaminate you. What the hell just happened now? Hmm? And listen, Dave. If you're not going to do right by me and marry me, then let me go. Hey, B. You need to get yourself off my couch and go home, darling. What? Hmm? Are you kicking me out of your house? Not really. Now that I need you, B, come on. You can't do that. It's just you showing up at my doorstep emotionally drained and withdrawn and then passing out of my couch is getting old. Yeah. I'm not in a little bit sexy. It's a total torn off, actually. Mm. That's because I haven't been getting enough sleep lately, B. Come on, be mm. understanding. If you say one more word about your relationship, I'm going to explode. It's boring. Pick another topic already, like football, politics, or something. I can't help it. I mean, it, it felt implied that you want an explanation as to why I suddenly find your couch mm. very inviting. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm. Right. See, I understand. Relationships are so exasperating. Oh, we know. That is the reason I dine and dash, baby. But you seem determined to create something out of this thing you have with Carol. Yeah. So, this time, why don't you put an actual effort and face your battles like the relentless, resourceful man that I know you are, instead of running to your escape hatch? Me. You get it? Yes, you. Actually, you. Mm. I need you, B. Because this time, I really don't know what to do. I'm trying so hard, but I'm confused. What do you think I should do? Well, do I reach out to her? Do I stop getting angry? Mm. I don't know what to do. Yeah. What? Figure it out. That's what you're meant to do. You won't let me wear my shoes? You know. Come you on, can B. just that that way. B, this is embarrassing. You're putting me up. No, 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 no. I would never. No. What's, what's absolutely. Wrong with you, no. Man? I'm not doing that. No. I'm not throwing you up. Never. I would never throw you out. Well, I could give it to you tonight. You know what I'm <laughs> Adorable. But you kind of left something downstairs. You know? She just in that direction. 
that way. Good boy. Yeah. Great. There we go. That's the way. Grace, you do not understand. This is not the man I know. He has completely changed. He hasn't changed. He's just manipulating you and, and playing with your emotions. He's not even making effort to reconcile with me. The guy was even moving out of his house. He didn't even try to stop me. Of course. That's a clear case of emotional dealings. Manipulations. Call it whatever you can. He's just dealing with your emotions. Please. He was the one who insulted me. Hmm. And then he had the phone tree to, 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 to ignore me for weeks. Not even a call. What he's doing is really bad, right? Of course. So what are you thinking now? He's not apologizing to you. Mm. The way it's, the way things are now, I don't think he would want to apologize first. So you are thinking of going to apologize, right? Hmm? Come, 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 come. What's your problem? And what flavor of stupid do you have or you are practicing? I don't even understand. Is it vanilla flavor or strawberry? Because you're not thinking straight. You should carry yourself as a woman of dignity. What's your grace? Problem? Stop insulting me. If you have a point to make, go, 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 get at it. Ha! I'm not insulting you. Carol, see, I love you. And that's why I don't want you getting into trouble. Okay, I'm very sorry. You know it's obvious you're scared. Yes. You're scared of him going back to his ex. True or false? Brenda. Brenda is ex. Chris, you're right. <sighs> Coming. Where are you going? I'll come back for my things. Come back for your things. Where are you going? Carol! Carol! Don't go and beg this guy. Carol! Hey! Why not? Ha! That's what this girl like marriage. You're back. Yes. I see. Hi. Hi. Um, I miss you. Oh, Carol, please. I don't want drama. Ah, come on, sweetness. There's no drama here. Oh, okay, fine. Let me let me make dinner for you. Um. You seem to have lost a little weight. Thank you, but I'm fine. I don't feel like eating. Honey, please. Okay, fine. Um, sit through dinner with me. Look, if you want to make something for yourself, go ahead and make something for yourself. I, I don't want to eat things. I'll pass. Okay? I have... Look, I'll go upstairs and I have stuff to do on my laptop, so, okay. Okay, um, fine. I, I know how busy and how tired you can be. Before you go, let me have a hug, please. What? A hug. You want a hug? Yes, a, a good night hug. And just a hug, I promise. Carol, I'm not interested in your games. Please. Uh, sweetness, there's no game here. I'm not playing games with you. I just, I just want you to hug me. Mm, please. That's all. 
Mm. Please. I miss you. That's why I'm asking you for a hug. Should I be begging my my man for a hug? Okay. If we're going to do this, then you would have to play by my rules. Fine. I'm okay with it. Carol, what is it? Um, um, the, the AC in the guest room is not working. It's very hot. It's blowing hot. Uh, take a cold shower, all right? Uh, take a cold shower. I did that twice already. I'm, I'm, and I'm still very hot. Dave, just open up. Um, let me... Dave. Carol, Carol, I'm not up for this kind of distraction, all right? I have work to do here. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to disturb you. I'm just going to lie down and sleep. What, what is it, Carol? What? Dave, come on, I'm so hot. Uh, oh, please, no. Come <laughs> on. Say it. What? Say it. Oh, this. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Say it. Say it. Okay, okay, fine. Say it. I'm sorry. Huh? Say I'm so it. Say it. I'm sorry. Sorry. Come on, B. <laughs> You're going to dream me out. <laughs> hey, you're, you're going to eat me off someday, you know that, right? <laughs> hmm? Hey, I was thinking, yeah? What would be the perfect place for a romantic evening? Are you taking me out? Oh, come on, B. You know we don't play like that. You know. <laughs> you could try Shaw's restaurant. They have the best of African cuisine. And the ambience is lovely. Like, it's so good. Shaw's, you say? Yeah. Shaw's. Shaw's restaurant. 
Yeah. Okay. That's Just okay. came up. All right. Let me see if I can make reservations right. Yeah. Right away. Wait. I've got to run. I'll call you, okay? Okay. Yeah. I'll see you later. My lover.
You've been staring at me all night. I know. My darling. I could stare at you for eternity. For nothing is more captivating in existence. I disagree with you. If only you could catch a glimpse of this feast right before me. Oh. Hmm. Sweetness. You are my Adonis. Oh. You blow my mind, baby. Mm. You know, it's so refreshing and satisfying to have this with someone. It's almost like every smile in your presence is richer and sweeter. So much so that every moment without you is like torture and pain until I have you back in my arms, baby. Ah, come on, babe, you got me. Whew. I can't even deny it, even if I wanted to. I am undeniably in love with you. And I would do anything, absolutely anything for you. My love for you is endless. And it grows every day. Oh. You win. <laughs> <laughs> I always win. Don't you? Well, hello. Fancy meeting you at a fancy restaurant. Peace, Dagogo. What a coincidence meeting you guys here like this. You know, I'll just hang with you guys till my date arrives. Cool. <laughs> How do we know you again? Uh, Dave. She's the real estate agent. Oh. Okay. Well, I like it here. This is like one of the best restaurants in town. Yeah. And it was my date's choice, not mine. No, no, I see. Okay. <laughs> Lovely place. Oh, what are you doing here? Rick. And speaking of my date, Rick. Oh, and thanks for putting up with me. I'll just leave you guys to it. Okay. Rick, let's um let's Hey. Hey. How is it that you know the crazy woman's man? Oh, Rick. He was my old classmate when I was doing my masters in the States. Quite some time ago. Mm hmm. An old fling. <laughs> Please, Dave, Rick, come on, Ned of the century. Nah, he's not my type. I mean, take a look at the man. Then take a look at you. My Adonis. 
<laughs> Tell that you seemed a bit nervous when he showed up. Oh. Um, and so I asked. No, I I wasn't nervous because of him. I was actually nervous because of um, Miss Dagogu. I mean, I, I know you don't like her. Remembering how you acted the last time she came to our house. I didn't want you to blow your top. So I was really nervous at how you would react when she came in here. <laughs> oh, come on, babe. I take that to be the truth, my darling. For I'm going to kill any man who attempts. To take you from me. Just out of the blues, Grace. Mm. 
it wasn't even my birthday. Really? Oh, God, girl, I had the most magical night ever. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoyment. Ah, I had wait, fun. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what was the highlight of the night? Mm. There were a couple of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. When I came out, hmm. out of the house, yeah. oh God, you need to see how he complimented my look. Oh, and your girl was looking <laughs> Grace, hmm? you need to see how Dave was looking at me. Of course. Girl, you need to see that stare like this. No, Grace, I'm serious. Okay. Like five years with Dave, he has never looked at me that way. Mm. Oh, God. At some point, I, I felt he was looking at my soul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grace. So what happened? This is the gist you've been waiting for. <laughs> the high point of it all. Uh -huh. When we got home. Oh. Okay. <sighs> I'm still thinking of it. You remembering everything, the way he was touching me, oh God. He couldn't get his hands off me. He was just all over me, girl. He was just, ah, oh, oh. It was hot. We did everything. In fact, you don't want to hear that part. That's it. It was magical. It was intense. It was passionate. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Dave is something else. Yes. <laughs> Oh, mm. you enjoyed yourself. Oh, please, you can you say love that romance. again. <laughs> mm. You don't like romance. Stop it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. With an intense night like that, mm -hmm. well planned romantic oh. night with Dave. Mm. So you didn't end with a proposal. Don't you think you should end with a proposal? Chris, mm. can you stop? I mean, can you stop? What's wrong with you? Must everything be about proposal? Oh, please, 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 just stop. This is my life we're talking about. Not some stories on your, on your blog or on the magazine column. Get real. You're just angry. No, no, no. I beg, I beg, I beg. You get me angry sometimes and I don't like it. Sorry. Sorry now. What are you doing like this? But you said the night was intense, right? Yeah, very intense. That's it. Very, very. So why do you ask? I was just thinking, you no, know, just thinking that maybe with that intense night and you said it was quieter than normal. Mm -hmm. Maybe you wanted to do something and suddenly developed cold feet and couldn't go forward. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, there were a lot of distractions that night. Maybe. Please, please. Grace, stop. Stop putting ideas in my head. I mean, Dave is a very thoughtful man. Yes, I mean, if, there's, if there was something he wanted to do, he would have done it. Mm. It was just a, a wine and dine night for us. That's, that's what it is. Okay. It wasn't. Well, no. if you say so, no problem. But you know what? Oftentimes than normal, men speak words, but sometimes less using non-communication skills, you know. And maybe Dave, you know, just trying to do something, get you to get into that puzzle, find out some things that will lead to proposal. Excuse me, madam. The chief editor wants to see you concerning the recent success of your blog. Thank you. I'll be with you soon. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. All I'm asking for is a proposal now. How many years of dating? Please, please. Don't be angry. Please, please. please. Can you stop? Please, let me quickly go and see my editor. I'll be with you soon. Don't be angry now. No problem. Why Take you your vex? time. This one you the vex. Don't be vex for me. Please, please, please. Just stop. No, but serious. I'm not happy about ah, it. I'll you. see you Engage me. Ah, please, please. <laughs>
you saw it. Really? Really? You have the audacity to call me nosy! You blogged about my life! You weren't supposed to say it at first. You weren't supposed to say it ever. How can you ever imagine that I will not read your blog someday? You're not ever interested in reading any of my stories. You read this all because you were bored waiting for me. That does not give you the right to put my story out there for the public to ridicule me. I mean, you were my friend. Have you run out of stories or ideas or something? What is wrong with you? Yes. Yes, I ran out of ideas. I didn't know what to do. I was almost losing my jobs. <laughs> and I saw your story, very interesting story, impactful story, that I used it. I'm sorry, my friend, it had to be you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my friend, please forgive me. I didn't put your secret there. You and Dave, you're anonymous, okay? You know the saying, two can keep a secret if only one is dead. And you are dead to me. Carol, you need to learn from people's comments. You need to learn. People are enjoying your story. Learn from people's comments. People are saying things about you. Read and learn. Get engaged and get married. Learn. Learn. There is a big day tomorrow. I need your head in the game. Oh, for the optimist time, Frank, come on. My head is in the game. You know how long it took me to get this invested? Of board? course I know, man. I know. Listen, my head is in the game. I'm focused. Hmm. Yeah. But a uh, ticking bomb like Carol, I'm not too sure. Listen, nothing can go wrong tomorrow. Nothing will go wrong. Everything that needs to go right will go right. Frankie, calm down. Come on, man. What's wrong with you now? What, you don't trust me anymore? I've cut this. Have I ever let you down before? No. Listen, I understand your fears about Carol. I get it. Okay, I know that, you know, sometimes, you know, Carol can be... A bit nice, but it's okay. She has her struggles. It's just sometimes she gets, you know, really, really depressed and 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 you, you, you know. And okay, you see that 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 there that is not good. What? All right, you know your woman is impulsive and unpredictable. Come on, don't, don't talk like that. Don't talk about my woman like that. You know how I feel about Carl. I'm too bad. Listen, I, I understand what you're saying. Maybe it's just PMS. And maybe you should put a baby in her since you chickened out of proposing to her. What? And then expect her to still stay with you. Really? Frank, come on. <laughs> what, a child out of wedlock? An illegitimate child? Come on, even Carol knows that's not possible. Nah, I don't play like that. Nah. I won't do it. What? Dave? Are you serious? Dave. What? You know you take complicated to a whole new level. What have I done now? You know what? Just get your A-game tomorrow, okay? Okay, sir. I know I promised Grace I'll pick a fight with him and and then he has to propose to get me back. <laughs> but I'm no match for you, Dave. Your words, the way, your way with words, your charm, 
your sweetness. Gosh, I can't, I, I don't think I can win this. I don't think I can win it. <sighs> Maybe I should run away. Yes, I mean, take the coward's way out. But then that will make me a coward. What do I do? I love you. Oh God, I'm so stuck. I don't know what to do. I love you so much, as much as I hate you. I wish you... I wish you would just do right by me, just do the freaking right thing. Carol, Dante, Richards, get your act together. You have to end this. You have to. Grace and Avance are right. They are. I've been a fool for too long. I can't afford to be a fool forever. I can't. No. This is insane. This is insane. This is crazy. <laughs> Babe? Babe. Yes, babe. I'm off. Okay. <laughs> See who looks great. See who looks wonderful. Mm -hmm. I see you decided to wear your favorite suit on a special day. I have to impress now. Mm. Huh? You do. You mm. look great. Thank you. Mm. You're going to wish me good luck now, Oh. You? Good luck, darling. Is everything okay? Everything is fine. Are you sure? I'm fine. Come here. I'll see you later. Have a great day. See you later. Have a great day. I was just about to put my phone on silent and then your call just came through. What's up? Hello? Hello? Babe, are you there? I'm here. What's up? Dave, we need to talk. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't talk. No, no, we can't. No, not now, baby. No. I told you that the investors are coming this morning. Of course, you know today is my big day. We talked about it. You know, we, we prayed on it, right? The time is now. As I speak, they're just they're just walking their way upstairs. We're in the boardroom already. Can I can can, can I call you when, when we're done with this, please? We are talking right now, Dave. Now. You know what? This is not going to take time. As soon as we're done, I, I will call you. Okay? No. Okay. All right. All right. I, I have to go. I have to go. I have to go. All right. Yeah. Love you. Bye. Right. Mm-hmm. We're good. I I think I've got this one under control. It's, it's fine. We're good. We're good? You're asking me? Yeah. Right. Our brand has gotten to a point where we can confidently tell you that we are one of the best on the continent of Africa. The person whom you're trying to reach is currently unavailable. Please leave a message after the beep. We deliver excellence and professionalism in a very safe and professional environment. I said.
and don't touch me! Then you must be clinically insane to think you can ignore me. Are you mad? Come what? To think that I was talking to you on the phone and you got your call and then switched off your phone on me. Are you insane? Carol, calm down. Hey, don't, 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 don't tell me to calm down. Now you listen to me, David Wack. I need your attention and I need it right now. Okay, gentlemen, please. I have had enough of this rubbish. This is an absolute waste of my precious and very expensive time. I did not come all the way from the States for all this drama, Frank. Mrs. Coco, I am so sorry. No, no, Listen, no. no. We, let's go. We need to leave right now. I am so sorry. This, we can sort this out. David. What have you done? What have you done? What did you just say? No, what did you just what? out? What did you out. talk to me? Out. Did you just ask me what have I done? Oh, no! Okay, I want both of you to listen to me very carefully. Since you insist on acting like children, I will address you two as kids. What do you think this is? The Dave and Carol show? I told you, keep your shit at home! Now after that's been said, Carol, please leave this office right now or I'll get security from a bundle you out of here. If you think this is far from over, then you have something go coming for you. Meet me at, at home. Idiot. I warned you to keep your shit at home. You will get a bill of what this disaster has cost this company and you will pay for the damages yourself! Huh. No, come off it, Carol. I'm not going to allow you ride on this incident to poison yourself. No. You are being a self-righteous bastard right Am now. Am I? Don't you think so? Do you even know what you have done? Do you realize the enormity of what you've done? <laughs> Still clueless. I don't even know why I bothered with all the drama to get you to propose. Were you waiting on a proposal? Were you waiting on a proposal? Oh, thank goodness. I didn't even bother to propose to you on the night of the dinner. I was going to. But hey, am I not lucky now? You it. Grace was right. You were going to propose. Mm -hmm. I don't understand, Dave. Why? Why did you propose because then? Because of you, Carol. Because you are who you are. A woman who in a blink of an eye would destroy a partnership that took Frank and I seven freaking years to put together and you blow it up. Why? Don't you think if you had proposed then this wouldn't be happening? Enough. Ah, ah, Carol. Don't push me. Just stop talking, all right? Stop talking before you make me do something that will get me arrested. Stop talking right now. Then do it, Dave. Do it! You dare me? Carol? Hmm. And where the hell do you think you're storming out with that self-righteous rage? I don't care if you like it or not, but you're going to stand here and listen to what I have to say. And I don't care if you like it. This has to stop. Carol, I am trying really, really hard to restrain myself. Hitting you really hard. Stop poking me so I don't- Well, I am not letting you run off that door when you have some explaining to do. Why, Dave? Why? Oh, you want to keep me hanging in there while you get married to some girl someday and I hear it? Why? Well, that shit is not happening till you start telling me what is going on. I owe you nothing. Uh, really? Me? 
explain myself to you. Ah! Uh, you owe me five years! Five good years of my life! You took that from me! So you have to start telling me why you back out from proposing to me? Why? My blood is true. I owe you nothing. Dave, you have to start talking. You have to start telling me why you have kept me with you when you know you're not going to propose to me. What the hell is wrong with you, Dave? What do you have to say? Explain yourself. Say so when you interrogate me each time I fall off the wagon, it's time for you to say yes. Now you're running away. Explain yourself. You have to explain yourself. Say why I explain myself anytime I drink because because you like your women so much. Carol, Carol, Carol. You made me this way. Carol. It is your fault. Everything is your fault. Just go, come out. Stay out of that door right now. I swear to God, if I come out, I will not be responsible for what I do to you, Carol. Stay out. Oh. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. She'll run for her life. Ah! If she had not run, oh, I don't know what would have I don't know what I would have done. I don't know. I don't know, but I can assure you that it would have been ugly. I don't know what I would have done, but it would have been ugly. Oh, mm -hmm. Carol, you pushed me too much. Ah! Oh. There. <sighs> Take deep breaths. Okay? <sighs> deep breaths. Breathe. It's okay. I'm here. Okay? Hey. Breathe. Ah! Good. Why? Why am I so angry? Why am I so pained? Oh, it's been over an hour, yet anger still boils in my veins like lava. My target. My target is the woman that I love. Oh no. Something is not right. Why am I so angry? Why? Why me? Why am I so pained? 
What is going on? This is not right. It's not right. <sighs> Relax. I'll be a commandant to that. Alright? I'll not be a commandant now. Trust me, trust me, this is what you need. You need a release. Okay? I'll be. You need to relax. Be a commandant. Come on. Come on. It's not a good time for it this. It is. You're so tense, okay? Just relax. This sounds cliche, right? But it's, it's it's not you. It's me, really. Okay, it's me. It's me. Okay, but something. I just I just feel unsettled on the inside. I have to go. This is not right. I have to go. I'm sorry. Yes, hello. You say you love her, but it took you hours to call to find out she was missing. My goodness. Uh, who, are, who are you? Who are you? Who are you, please? Who are you? 
I'm gonna get a response through text messages. Uh, please, it's it's it's, 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 it's Carol with you. Is, is she okay? Please, look, uh, look. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I I don't know what I'm saying, but please, 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 please. I I don't know who you are, but please don't harm Carol, okay? Whatever it is that you want, I would give. Okay, just tell me what what do you want, please? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What, where is she? Is she okay? What do, what do you want? Hello? 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 The price for her life, it's yours. A life for a life. I'll send you the directions. And if you call, or you think about calling the police, she dies immediately. I will see them when they're coming. Trust me, Dave, I will see you when you're coming. What have I done? Oh, no, David, what have you done? <sighs> Hello? All right, brother, that's enough now. That's enough, okay? Just give her back, okay? Give her back. Give who back? Listen, this thing is dragging too far. It's, it's gone too far now. Look, Dave, I have no idea what you're talking about. What do you mean, what am I talking about? Oh, you kidnapped right. Carol. That, that's your MO. That, that's your style. I know your style. You, you kidnapped her. Just, just, just give her back, okay? That's all I ask. Give her back. Well, then you should check the enemies of Carol and yourself. Or, you know, perhaps you should call the police. Of course, you know I cannot do the police. I can't risk her like that. What am I gonna do now? Oh shit! Ha! Huh. Welcome to my den where I reign supreme. What have you done to her? What have you done to her? Is she alive? I swear to God, if oh, you hurt her out! threats! If I wanted you dead, I would have killed you a long time ago. What do you want from us? Huh? What do you want from us? Are you stalking us? Huh? You bloody psychopath! I ask you, are you stalking us? Maybe. But you see, I love her. All of this is for her. So the question is, would you die for her? Because I would. All right, you know what? Let her go and you can have me, okay? You see, you see what I don't understand? This ends tonight, right now! No. Just, just let her go. Okay, just let... Have you ever experienced rejection before? Okay. Just calm down. I just, I just... What the hell is going on here? Don't you come baby, 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 please, please, please. Don't, don't move, he's gonna go on. Okay, look, look, he's look, gonna look. Go on. everybody just, keep calm. Keep just, calm. Just, just, just... Don't move. Calm down. Just calm drop down. the gun. Drop the gun. Drop the gun. Rick, what did you do to me? Rick! I invited her out to a, to a bar for drinks and she agreed. I asked her to meet up with me for the last time at a bar. And she agreed. You know, look, I told her that, look, I just wanted to see her for the last time. You know, just, just to accept that it was really over between us. You know, for closure. It was in a public place. And when, oh God. And when the pill kicked in, everyone thought she was drunk. Because, because you know, I somehow convinced them that she had been drinking before we got there. With a hefty tip to the bartender. No more questions were asked. You know, and we just, we walked out of there unchallenged. You psychotic!
Baltic bigoted piece of shit. Cut me loose now. Shut up, everybody dies! Everybody dies! We cut me loose now, cut me loose! Everybody shut up, everybody dies! Put the gun down. Everybody dies, shut up! Put the gun down. Shut up! Don't this! Stay down, motherfucker. Stay. I'm sorry. Stay down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stay down. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. You okay? Stay down. Stay down. Baby, I got you. I got you, baby. I got you. I got you. I got you. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Put it down, this fake gun. Put it down. Put it down. What? The gun is fake. Put it down. What? The gun is fake. What are you talking about? What is this? What? What? What is this? Look, it, it wasn't my original plan. My plan was just to look, have her tied up there and just snap nude pictures. That's what I wanted to do. But I, I couldn't do it to her. I couldn't do it to her. Look, uh, I just thought maybe when she regained consciousness, you know, she, she will see that you abandoned her and see me as a knight in shining armor. That's all, that's all I want. You have got to be the sickest psychopath I know. What? You put all of this together, all of this together, just so you can win a woman's love. You want her to turn her back on me and see you as her shining armor. You are a psychopath. <laughs> Baby, you're bleeding. <laughs> Baby, you're bleeding. <laughs> Did you, did you rip her? No, 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 I did. No, no, no. No, no. Did you rip her? No. Baby. I got you. I got you, baby, baby, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Baby, I got you. Baby, I got you. 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 I got you, baby. I got you. Baby, I got you. I got you, baby. Are you joking? You're usually a hundred percent up and hard even before you touch me. What? I'm tired. Just really tired. I feel lost. Finding out that Carol lost the pregnancy. We did not know it was there. It hit me. It hit me really, really hard. This is over, isn't it? I believe it is. I'm sorry. You know, something clicked in me and... and everything snapped back into place. And at that moment, I... I just knew that you and I cannot continue to to do this, B. 
come on, come on. I knew this wasn't a permanent thing. So why are you getting all proper on me? Look, I was just surprised. You know, I've never had you flaccid in my hands before. I have been selfish, my friend. Because you're worth a lot more than just sex. I see you, B. I see you. As beautiful. And intelligent. You're human, baby. You've got your own problems too. Probably. Speaking of problems. I am in trouble, Dave. Daddy is cutting me off completely, even from his will. Unless I get a husband by the end of the year. What? What? Come on. It's the 21st century. Who does that? business. <laughs> you have that going, don't you? Uh, you really didn't think my lavish and independent lifestyle was supported by that, did you? <sighs> so what are you going to do now? Take myself out and be miserable. Sorry, out. I'd have no choice but to leave this up to you. B. Brenda, baby. being there for me. It's part of myself. It's part of my shop comments, B. Thank you. Thank you for the good times, B. Can you just like, just wait a few minutes? Let me get my stuff. Please, I don't want to be in this house alone. Please. I promise no games. No games whatsoever. I just really, really need the moral support.
please. Okay. Really? Really? I, I can explain. Explain what exactly? Brenda! It's clear! You teamed up with Carol's ex to break our relationship, Brenda. What are you playing at? Why? Okay, yes, I did. But I never, I never agreed to kidnap me. That makes it okay? Does that make it okay? Why do you play these dangerous, dirty games? Why? I have feelings, What then. feelings? Why are you like this? Look, I might come across as this independent feminist, but at the end of the day, Dave, I am human. I have feelings and I love you. <laughs> come on, please. Cut the crap. You love me? You are incapable of loving. You can't love. It is not something that you're built for. I have heart, Dave. And I had to get you back because no man has ever made me feel the way you make me feel. You lie. With us, it's always about sex. It was just sex. You made it abundantly clear that you were not going to bow to any man, or let any feeling of love control you. You told me I played by your rules. I Why are you trying very hard to destroy that which I have built? I meant it, but... But when you told me you had found love, it broke me into pieces. I guess what they say is true. You don't know what you have until you lose it. Oh, you would make a fantastic actress. Look at you. You wanted to ensure your place in daddy's will. I see it now. I see it now. <laughs> you know what? We're done. Brenda. It's goodbye. Look. i good readers. Stay away from me. Look, I know. I know <sighs> I played dangerous game. But Dave, this. This is real. Please. She causes you so much pain. I make you happy. Shut up. I make you happy. Shut up. Okay. I went too far. But that proves that I would do anything for you. You have done enough. Anything to get you back. You have done everything to kill me, Brenda. You cast us a child. You took away my first chance at being a father. Indeed, you have done everything to me. Because of your unnecessary stress and interference, stay away from me forever. It was good, 
while it lasted, I enjoyed it. You had fun manipulating me. I'm done. Get your act together, Brenda. Lots. You are no man's mush toy. You are strong, independent. How'd you do? How you do not cry for no man? You Okay, there you are. <laughs> Santa is home, baby. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I got you some stuff. I stopped really? by. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're so... welcome, baby. Okay, I aim to please. I aim to renew our love. I'll light up some fire here. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I don't understand what's going on. Why are you so excited? Yeah. Where is the fire? Mm. This, you and I. No one knows you. Huh? Mm. Come here, baby. Mm. <laughs> your stuff. And then what? What's, what are you doing with this? I'm making dinner. Uh, it's not your shift tonight, baby. Shift? Oh, I'm making us something special. Mm -hmm. Something really, really nice. Okay. Hmm? Are right. you for real? I am for real, baby. No. Babe, I'm almost done with. I, I mean, the know. rice is almost ready. That's the point now. Rice, the regular. <laughs> Let me make us something really unusual. What's uh, the celebration? What's going on? What are we celebrating? Our love, baby. The renewal of our love. I love you plenty. I don't want to lose you. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get back to you. I, I have had a very crazy few days. Is everything all right? I need to reintroduce myself. I am Brenda. Brenda Dagogo. Oh yeah, that's Brenda. And I have come. 
come to take my man. you go who is he backing right now hmm? and whose pictures are on the walls we have a deeper connection Dave tell her tell me what because I don't see anything special about you miss I go go Brenda which one do I call you all I see in front of me is a desperate, single woman with no self-worth. Okay, Brenda, just leave. Okay, just, just go. Just, just go. Dave, leave this bitch to me to handle. What is special about you? Hmm? What? For heaven's sake, you might just be some cheap porn slick. Dave, are you going to stand there and let her talk to me like this? You brought this upon yourself. I just asked you to leave. You went through all this to achieve what? Classical dumb. Hmm? Girls will get a life. And then get the hell out of my house right now. Was it not 48 hours ago that I had you moaning on my couch with you inside me? Hmm? Dave? Just go. Please, just, just, just go. Please, leave, leave. Please. Please. Just... It's fine. I'll leave. But I want to thank you for all the lonely nights you kept the cold at bay. It freaking hurts. Like a bitch. Knowing that I won't feel you inside me anymore. But it's fine. It's okay. It's cool. It's cool. I'll be fine. I'll survive. After a long vacation in Dubai. Well, see you in another lifetime, baby. Your dick is king.
Was she in on it with Rick? Oh, yes. At some point. You know, you told me that the both of you were old classmates. I only just found out that you were once engaged to Rick. Seriously? Oh no, baby. I know that that is nothing compared to my sins, but baby, you've got to believe me. I ended it. I ended things with her, and that is why she showed up here. She showed up here because she was just being vindictive, but that's why you've got to believe me. You don't get it. That's not it. It's the lies. And how you make me apologize every time. Like I was paranoid or delusional for, to even suggest it. Dave, how can you say you love me? That you love me so strong and completely, yet you look me in the face and convincingly lie to my face. How? I lie to you because I love you. It is because I love you that I lie to you, baby. I need you to stay. You don't know how scary it is for me to think of the possibility of living my life without you. And I do not have the strength for that right now. Just, 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 just stop! Stop manipulating me! Stop it! Stop it! You lied! You lied that you didn't know who she was! You watched me make a fool of myself. No, you don't love me. I do. No. I do, baby. I do so much so that it hurts to think of losing you. I don't want to lose you. Then why do you hurt me? Why? Why hold yourself back from taking the next step? We could have been parents. Oh yes, but miserable parents. I would have still been domineering. I still smoke. Oh yes, I still do. I lied to you. You would have still been drinking and your temper? Oh, Carol, your temper would have still been an issue. Can you still cheat? And then you still smoke? Sometimes love is not just enough. I'm a better man now, for I know better. Cheating is under probability. Because really now, I know better. Really, now I do know better. Baby, we're not perfect. We are both flawed. But the love and the passion is there. But I need you to see what I am saying. These little issues will always creep up on us and escalate, baby. Do you really want us to give marriage a chance in all of this mess? Baby, let's just stay the way we are. 
the solution is we end it. Oh no, don't say that. Don't say that, baby. That would kill me. I'm not ready to lose you. I'm not ready to live the rest of my a lifetime without you. No. Baby, we can do this. If we put our hearts together, if we put our head in this, we'll find a way to make it work. I promise you. Oh, sweetness. You are a selfish, manipulative bastard. You know that, right? Oh yeah, I know. But I don't care. Baby, please. There has to be a way out. We have to find a way to work it out. There is no way I'm letting you leave me. I can't live without you, baby. That is not even a plan that I am willing to consider because I because love you. Because you love me. You need me. You can't live without me. But guess what? I feel the same way too. I am scared to the bone of this plan. Now, why do you want to do it, baby? Why? Why? Because it's the last plea. The last card on the table. And no matter how painful it is, it is the winning card. Thank you for everything. I understand that we're two intelligent adults that have acted dumb for a very long time now, but I'm asking that you please give this another chance, please. Don't. Sweetness, please don't. 
Don't try to stop me. We've been on this roller coaster for almost five years. And it's clearly not going anywhere. Don't try to stop me now that I have the strength to leave you. Because if you do, I will never forgive you. I have never loved anyone the way I love you. And I don't think I will ever. It is killing me to leave you, but this is the best for the both of us. I always love you. I will always love you with every breath in me. Goodbye, Dave. confident that you'll be able to take care of our company for as long as it takes me to get my head straight and back in the game, Frankie. Come on, Dave. How long do I have to do this alone? You know, I'm just one part of who I can carry the associates. Our clients might get edges at one of your favorite toys not around. In fact, they're already suspicious because rumor that we have split up and picked up since no one has seen your face around in a month. I don't know, Frankie. I don't know how long this will take, but I'm just not in it right now. My head is not in it. I'll only be getting in your way if I choose to stay back. You've got a month. Isn't that enough? A lifetime would not be enough, frankly. It will only make for easier bearing. That's all. Okay, but keep, keep in touch, my friend. And stay strong. Shall man. I'll call you. Hello, Inka. I need you to book me a one week ticket to the USA. I'm on my way to the airport. 